Hi guys! As you can see, diamond painting is completed. That's what you get for lack of blanket. Hold on a minute, I can't do this. So the chair's in my way and I can't move it because I'm holding the phone with my bad hand. Anyway, you'll find that my videos are a bit messed up now because I recorded my whip and chat this morning, ready for tomorrow just in case it went wrong and I had to do it again. So I was working on this this morning for the whip and chat. Now I've finished it and this is going to go up first. So it's a bit back to front, but you know, it is what it is. I finished it sooner than I thought I would. Anyway, loads of spares. I didn't run out despite the... Um, the confusion and the mess up last time. I didn't run out of any. I have quite a few. I'm in the light as well. It is dark here, so. But yeah, plenty of spares. And if I'm right, that's the one that I thought I'd run out of and I hadn't. That's how many spares I've got. So, spares is all good. The drills weren't too bad. The issue I thought I had wasn't as bad as I thought. Hold on. Oh, for goodness sake. See? That's planning for you. I didn't even open my um, scrap drill tub. I got it. I had to do it with my teeth. These, after the issue with the black that I thought I had, there weren't actually as many as I thought that had the side missing. I've got my fingers are in the way. That one there, you can see like two stuck together. There's a couple in there that are literally just because I found them on the diamond paint after I put the drills away and I wasn't going to try and locate which drill it was what colour it was so the scrap wasn't too bad and you know I've got a ton of 310 left now so oh, sorry my arm's aching I'm going to use my bad one to push these off Hold on. So sorry. I'm trying to strain across and it's not coming out. Ow. Wasn't doing too well. Anyway. In general, before I show you a full. It looks. I love the colours of her dress. And her wings to be fair. If I now pull up. You can see. Oh my gosh. Her face actually looks better on camera than it does Oh well. Anyway, um, when I first completed this bottom section, I did actually say I was worried about how much black there was because it just seemed very, very dark down here. Now, it is still a little bit dark, but you can, like, you can see that that's his tail and the cat's back, and you can see his front paws down here. So it didn't come out too bad, actually, after all. Overall, it wasn't bad. There are two things that I'm not a fan of. First of all, if we look on, if I try and stay out the blinking light, you can see the colour of the flowers, the purpley, red, pink, whatever. Up here, the picture has actually come out darker than the um, thumbnail because these this is meant to be that top flower. Ouch! Sorry, my shoulder. It's meant to be pink. There you go. You can see that. And all this is black instead. That's one thing I don't like. You can see the flower here. It's a little bit purpley. And like I said, the fact that the pictures come out darker than the thumbnail is another thing I don't like. Overall, 
this is your main focus anyway. I really like it. It just needed to be a little bit lighter. I was worried about the cat's face, being as his eyes were shut, but you can clearly see all that. From outside the camera, there's lots of purples in here, but when you look through here, it just looks like black and grey, and you can see he's got his eyes shut. And her face is actually really, really good through the camera. So overall, I am impressed. It's not a bad painting. Just needed to be a little bit lighter. But yeah, the colours of her wings are lovely. See, when you get closer, you can see the face isn't all that good, but pan back. And it's amazing and it's very sparkly. And the drills are all pretty good. I mean, there are little gaps, but sometimes that's me bunching them up. Because the drills were all fairly uniform. They weren't um, different sizes, really. But yeah, overall, I, I like it. Even though it is a little bit dark, the only odd thing is these things here. Not entirely sure what that was meant to be, but because it doesn't appear on, oh yes it does, it's right next to the flower. I don't know if I can get this, hang on, let me get out the light. Mm. I say get out the light and then I stand, look, I'm in the light now. I don't know if this will focus. There you go, there are two little things there, look, right next to the flower. But the flower should have been like a ready mm, colour. But there's them two little things there. But because they're in black, it looks a little weird. But if I really wanted to, I could trim the diamond painting down a little bit at the side and frame it. That wouldn't be an issue. So yeah, it's all good in the end. Her dress is gorgeous. Wish I had her figure. Anyway, Victoria's Moon gets a thumbs up from me. I've enjoyed doing this painting. I enjoy all my paintings, to be fair. If I didn't, I wouldn't be doing any. Um, the last couple of days, I spent loads of time on this. Loads of time. And Ellie's done quite a lot on hers as well, because I've been doing mine. I've, I have enjoyed it. A little worried at the start but as I got further up and the greens came out and then her wings and stuff it was all good so thumbs up from me uh, I'd recommend them not had any issues okay guys whatever's left of your day I hope you enjoy it and have an awesome day and I'll catch you in my next video guys Bye.